Get it? Text a message, I don't know the number. Flexing on these niggas, every bone and muscle. Steady taking shots, never hurting them. Even then, y'all don't worry nothing. And I like to give a shout out to my niggas with the game plan. And shout outs on my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 vans, rain dance. We can eat the rain check or we can make plans. Pockets loaded, rocket loaded, can't let's rock and roll this. Time to throw, lock, stop and two smoking barrels locked and loaded. Diamonds glowing, chop, climbing on them. We think I'm jumping out the window, how I got them open. Down around the corner, line them up the block and over. Sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to fuck. My shade, PR, my pants, the law, create, explore, expand, concord. I came. The Chicago Ballers started out the season with a ton of promise and preseason expectations. Having a ton of preseason hype, Kizo didn't take long to show flashes of what made him a Simeon legend. As you'll see coming up, they lost a competitive contest against a red-hot Atlanta team, and then followed that up by winning two straight in dramatic fashion, with Kizo Brown leading the way. The rest of the season didn't live up to the hype and preseason expectations thrust upon the team. Locker room and team chemistry issues eventually led to the team making roster changes. These changes didn't lead to immediate wins, or any for that matter, the rest of the season, as Chicago believes their team is still headed in the right direction despite their season taking a turn for the worse after the midseason break. With Kizo and his Chicago-sized shadow off the team, it allowed for Harrison Rieger and Dion Lyle to step into huge roles for the Chicago Ballers down the stretch of the season, earning all-star honors and roster selections for the first-ever JBA USA team. Their season wasn't a waste, as it helped produce two young stars that are getting plenty of reps in with some of the best talent in the JBA every day at practice, making Chicago a team to look out for in Season 2. With a strong duo and a team full of hungry players, Chicago is looking to take the next step. Out of anyone outside of LA, because they have Kizo Brown, who was a, a Simeon legend from Chicago, which is the same high school that Derrick Rose and Japari Parker went to. And so he won uh, state titles uh, for them, he was also on a JBA, or not a JBA USA squad, excuse me, he was on a USA squad for the actual under-17 team for the USA, and then he had some off-the-court issues, and he ended up getting his scholarships taken away, and so the, the JBA ended up becoming his his option. I mean, I know who keys are around. And then Dion Lyle... It, he well, I was explaining for everyone, and then uh, Dion Lyle, uh, he was conference sixth man of the year for UTSA, and he had uh, had a career high nine threes in a game against Rice University. So he he's been a decorated player at the collegiate level. That was a nice play. I like how it's like. Jordan Ray hitting a fucking fadeaway or Cheney hitting a fadeaway three or a fucking crossover three or some stupid shit. Threes are just threes at this point. Like, I feel like that's... Well, what honestly, I mean, it was a short sample size, but they have... They had better shooters in this league than the NBA. basically the same. Like, you're going to get LaMelo, LiAngelo, Yacht. Yeah, until LaMelo's in the... Uh... And, yeah, until he leaves. But point being... The teams, like, you'll have your players. You'll have your core every year. Like, the teams won't be too different. No, and that's something And that's something I think LeVar really needs to do because especially with this JBA USA Tour, if you go onto players' Instagrams and Twitters, they're constantly gaining more and more followers because they're traveling around with LaMelo and LiAngelo Ball, making them become more and more famous. So the more famous they become, the more people tune in for the games that aren't revolving around LaMelo and LiAngelo. Yeah, like now I give a shit about uh, Ray and uh, Cheney. Like I, I, I'm a decent fan of that team now. 
pretty cool. It's pretty cool how that works. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying, this is Kiza Brown's first game Let's in Let's go Chicago! Chicago. So they're starting, and Chicago! <laughs> so they're starting this game out behind. But Kizo's about to put on a show uh. for a city. Yeah. He has like 40 or 50 this game. Where's Kizo actually from? Chicago. Oh, he's actually from Chicago? No, he's from Chicago. That's badass. Like, he's a Simeon legend. Like, he went to Simeon, which is in Chicago. He went to the same high school as Jabari Parker and Derrick Rose. It'd be cool if he got drafted to the Bulls. This is theirs. Like, I mean, he can play. He just, defensively, he's not about to guard Kizo. Although, they did make a switch. So it'll be interesting to see how much better he does on Nell Watson. Mm. And what they do? And see, as, as soon as what they did, they went to Linnell Watson going on a cut to a post-up play. The second Calvin Williams was guarding. I mean that's good. That's good coaching and understanding by the whole team to realize, hey, we have a mismatch right here. Let's take advantage of this this matchup Ace. to their teammates and everybody else. Yeah, because you can see the passion. You yeah, see like at the at the end of last game, you can tell how bad Kizo Brown wanted the ball, but you could also oh, tell by the way back. his shoulders were slumping and he was throwing his hands up that he was upset that someone else took the last shot prior to them getting the rebound and then finally kicking him out the ball where he hit the game winner. Chicago up by two and Deion Lyle bricks the free throw. Nice. Yeah. I mean, they're up by five right here. Deion Lyle, decent little dribble move. Kizo Brown. That was a good ass pass. He should have went in on that. Deion Lyle. Oh. Sinks. That was weird. Good shoot. The deep yeah, you can't leave him open. I think they've given up at this point. Houston yeah, especially with Hollis out. It's hard to. So this is their first game without Kizo Brown. And it's Dallas's first game with uh, Nyon Weck, who is Luol Dang's cousin. And he's number 11 right there. So he also ended up making the JBA USA squad after being an alternate that came in midseason. So he came in midseason and proved himself. And that's why he won a, a breakout player of the year for us. Wow, with a nice pass. Singleton needs to hit that. I mean, Ryger did his best. So did Lyle. But Dallas, Dallas just had the clamps on him. The clamps. See, all of the players in the JBA are good on the boards, but I think that's because it's fast paced and they take so many shots. So they have no choice but to be good on the boards. There's a lot of rebounds to go around because they're missing. I was about to say, that's a nice inside game, but you did not fucking finish. Ooh! That was a travel. Yeah, but it would have been nice to see him dunk. That was Sean Lee, one of the. Uh, Dunk contest participants. Yeah, game's over, Dude, he's still really, want to see them hit. Rieger's really not bad. I kind of like his game a lot. He's uh. Well, because he's he's sneaky. He doesn't have to take a lot of shots. Like, did you see that pass right yeah. there? Ooh, ooh, Linnell Watson. Like that was mm. a. He fucking set that shit up. Like, hold left hand all the way the fuck down, the goddamn alley, and it was. That was nice. And, and he's a really good role mm. player too. I like him. I like him a lot. I do. Let me get the fucking ball. There you go, Rieger. There's Lyle. On the bench. On the bench. Fouled out. See, fouling out. See how big of a problem it was in the JBA? Six fouls. They used them. 
Every single one of them. Two steals, one big block. And now Watson, what's he do? What's he do? Turns the ball over. Travels. Travels, yeah. What the fuck was that? Mmm. Ooh, ooh! You can't pull. You can't go up on the defensive player of the year like that, candidate. Hey, look, she got Montreal Dixon on her shirt. That must be his mama. Man, a, a good experience. It was, uh, it was a fun season. Uh, it didn't turn out the way uh, team-wise I wanted. Um, it was great to meet new people, uh, playing a bunch of different cities. Um, it was really cool to be able to meet uh, Lavar, uh, just like the way he uh, carries himself and uh, his personality is, is very, uh, very, is very cool, very good. When you um, thank him for the opportunity. So when you first joined the uh, JBA, did you envision yourself becoming an All Star and going overseas with Leangelo and Lamelo? I didn't know they were going to do an overseas team at first, but uh, definitely one of my goals from the beginning of the season was to become an all-star. Uh, that, was, that was probably one of my that was probably one of my top personal goals. So uh, it's definitely working throughout the season to try and get to that point. And luckily, I was selected for the all-star team, and I I did pretty well. So I mean, personally, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of his playing style, but. Uh, he was a point guard, and he he did facilitate the offense at times. But in uh, my opinion, I wasn't a I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of uh, playing with him, just in my experience. But uh, I thought as a team we bonded better and we played a little bit more together when he wasn't there. But even though our record wasn't that wasn't that good, uh, it was down at times. Uh, we always we always wanted to come out with a win each game, but obviously one team's got to lose it. Unfortunately, we lost more games than we want, uh, that we wanted to. So uh, sometimes players would get on each other, but uh, the coaching staff usually try to do a good job of trying to take tensions away in the locker room and uh, when we were traveling and stuff like that. So I thought they did a pretty good job in that aspect. How much is traveling with JBA USA going to benefit you for season two? For season two? Yeah, the JBA. Uh, I think it's going to... I think it'll, I think it'll benefit me. I'm able to play with these guys each and every day in practice. You know, I'm not really seeing uh, too much time on the court right now, but uh, just to be able to play with them and just be able to compete with them every day, and everyone's getting better uh, on and off the court. I think, uh, and once I do have a little bit of off season, uh, once the overseas tour ends before the next few months transpire into the next season, uh, I'll definitely be in the gym probably twice a day, lifting, playing basketball, stuff like that, just getting my craft better, just getting ready for the season. I've seen it. It's it's kind of it's kind of funny, but uh, uh, I can't really do anything about it. I guess just work harder every day in practice and wait for my name to get called. That's all I can do at this point right now. So just try to get better every day. Yeah, I, I, I would like to see my team may play more to show his talent and show what he can do. Seeing what the uh, the JBA USA tour is, does that give you uh, more ma motivation to show out in season two? Yeah, cause I want to be there next. I want to be there next season. So yeah, it was great representing my hometown. Cause I'm from here, from the south side. So making history and becoming history is a great thing, especially playing for my city of Chicago. So it was great. I mean, we still have motor. We still have to come out and play. We still have motivation. We still have the dog in us. But we just, we just have to play, play. Play with each other more. Pre and uh, post Kizo. Um, my thoughts. Just keep Kizo. Just keep on working. Kizo being Kizo, been a dog like everybody on Chicago ballers. So just keep on working, and you'll get better and get further. The biggest part of your game uh, that you need to improve to get to the NBA. Uh, I need to shoot more from outside. More consistently as well. Yeah. For, for Chicago as the season went on. Mm, as the season went on, the chemistry was okay. Off the court, it was it was good. On the court, I can say it could have been better. 
and I would have bought for them and shared more. And so, really, I, it's been a disappointment. So, I, I, I've been working. That's put a whole bunch of fuel in my team. So, I've been working my butt off. You know, I can't go back to college or anything. This is my last, you know, last little go around this last year. I got to make something shake. Was what was the key factor that really really stopped y'all from winning that Seattle game? Whether it was something on your team or the other team, just probably letting fatigue get to us. It shouldn't have, that, that should be no factor, man. Just really wanting it, like when I'm going back to just wanting it more. Our, is no see how Seattle went all the way to LA LA, uh, LA Ballers? Yes. That should have been no doubt us. More shots and just working on my, my change of speeds, my my footwork and stuff like that. I'm getting a lot stronger. I'm putting I'm putting I put on at least ten pounds already. Um, so and how tall are you? I think uh, I have two teammates that's on the USA team. And that just shows the talent that just shows the talent that we got. And also like like more, there's more time to be shown. And does it give you motivation to become one yourself? Yeah, it gives me a lot. I have motivation. The dogs, the games, a trap, protect your heart. Awaited in line, return, refine the new design. It's time to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine. A hustle, a flex, the world is mine. So please believe. Allow the grease, these niggas, disease, don't speak, we squeeze I make the devil go weak, the knees You hate, you lame, you lost, I came I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord And break the law, I take what's mine And take some more, it rains, it pours It rains, it pours, I came, I saw, I came, I saw I praise the Lord, and break the law I take what's mine, and take some more, it rains, it pours, it rains.